Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to create a notebook. Now I want to mention this before everyone freaks out on me. You know like uh, three tutorials ago or something when I showed you guys how to make a stack switcher. I called all those things tabs but then I was like uh, I kind of feel bad calling them tabs because there's something else that more closely resembles tabs and this is you know technically called a stack and a stack switcher yada yada I want I went on forever about it it was really annoying <laughs> well anyways whenever I ran the program you guys are like you know what these things they don't really look like tabs they just look like a bunch of linked buttons at the top well this notebook this is actually what you picture in your head whenever you think about tabs so if you want to make a program with actual tabs this is what you're going to create so just remember that there's a difference between a stack switcher and a notebook so self notebook first thing we're going to do is actually create the notebook and set it equal to gtk dot notebook class and by the way i'm going to mention this too this type of layout is one of my favorite types of layout. I use it in almost every piece of software that I make using GTK. And I don't know, I just love it. It's so convenient. It's so easy for the user to understand tabs. Every program in the world should have tabs, in my opinion. All right, so now we got a blank notebook. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna add it. So self add, self notebook, and boom. We got a blank notebook on the screen. So this is what we're gonna do. Actually, let me open up another tab right here. So essentially your notebook is your entire, um, like your entire section with the tabs and the content. Now the area where the content is displayed, like this area right here, these are called your pages. So you're gonna create a bunch of pages, then after you have a page created, you're gonna add it to the notebook. Now once you add that page, you also give it a title and that title is the name that appears on the tab. So again, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna create a notebook, which we just did, and now we just have to create a bunch of pages and add them one by one to the notebook. And I'll say uh, first page. All right, so self, I'll just name this uh, page one, why not? And set this equal to GTK box. And I'll actually make one tab with text and then I'll make another tab with an icon because you can actually have all your tabs, not even have words on them, just have, you know, symbols or whatever. But I'll show you guys, um, you know, the different ones. So self. So for the first page, what we're going to do is we're going to set a border width of 10. And you should always set some kind of border width unless you want it to look really weird. And now also on page one, what we're going to do is we're going to add... GTK label. Now this right here, what I'm writing, this is just the stuff that appears in the main section, in the main area. So this isn't the actual title that appears on the tab. I'll just write here is the stuff um, that is in the main area. All right, looking good, mate. So we have a page, we have some text in it. Now what we have to do is we actually need to add this page to the notebook. And in that process, we add the title to the tab as well. So self notebook, append page. And the first thing is what page you wanna add? Well, how about that one we just created? So page one. And the second parameter is, all right. Whenever I display the tab, what do you want me to put on it? A label, an icon, and we'll just stick a label on this one, keep things real simple. So I'll just write first tab so you guys know clearly what's going on. So actually, let me copy these first two lines for the second page. And I'll write page two and page two. So page two is going to be pretty similar, but um, I don't know. What can we change about it? Actually, let me just add some text in here, too. I don't want to get too fancy. All right. So on page two, I'll just write, hey there, der, der, I am page two. This program is uh, looking excellent already. And I spelled page wrong. Embarrassing. All right. So in addition to just having some kind of word on the tab. You can also have an icon. And in order to do that, the easiest way is just to make 
GTK image new from icon name and you know how I said that essentially what you need to do and I said this in the last video is you make an icon then you convert it to an image and then you can stick it on whatever you want to stick it on um, GTK related but if you just want to do it in one big shebang then this is how you can do that and we'll just use that CD player for, or that icon of the CD from the last one and that is gnome dev audio and what size do you want it to be GTK icon size dot menu all right so now when we add this page self notebook add page what we need to do first of course is say what page you want to add page two and what do you want to display on the tab and we just want to display that icon so all right that is it ladies and gentlemen hopefully so let me go ahead and run this and check it out so this is the first tab and remember on the first one on this page what we did is we just said for the tab the title of the tab we just want some text so that's why we just made a blank label right here so again the second parameter is just what do you want to appear as the tabs title and for the second one we added an icon of a CD or you can have an icon of whatever you want so again you make a notebook a plain notebook and then you create pages one by one and then you add the pages to the notebook and in the process of adding them as you add them you also give it a title for the tab really easy stuff I thought this software development was supposed to be hard, but this is a piece of cake. So ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You have just learned my favorite layout, which is the tabbed notebook layout. I'll see you guys in the next video.